Interwebs. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hello. Oh. Hello. Hello. Welcome to our game. It is now the Russian roulette. In Soviet Russia, <laughs> you might totally have a Russian you. team. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. So, uh, for the folks that are joining us on Twitch, thank you very much for sitting through the bathroom break. For those joining us in the podcast, uh, welcome back to part two of today's episode, which I neglected to mention the title of at the beginning, which is called The Summer Wind. So, uh, when we last left our heroes, they had, uh, two of them had partaken in a strange uh, dreamlike, well, we weren't quite able to, to uh, qualify exactly what it was, it was which is it's why we form, use it's a form G scenario, which is why we use it. It's a form G scenario, you know, it's just kind of the yep. catch all. We're not quite sure yet. Um, also received a uh, secret missive from headquarters from Omen Dron himself uh, that there is a need to gather some intelligence to develop intelligence resources within the court of a uh, one of the uh, local lords, uh, being that he seems to be engaged in some. Less than savory. No, it's illicit. We can use that word. It's illicit. Um, and then uh, everyone had decided to turn in uh, for the evening. So um, real quick, I want to touch yeah. bases just for a moment. How many official contracts do we have? You received two official contracts. You accepted one of them. Okay. Um, and the other one kind of had like a – that's sort of like a subcontract. Right. This one that we just got, we have seven. No, I'm talking from AI, from home office. Oh. Mm -hmm. From home not, office. Not from, not from like, from side head stuff. office specifically, we got yes. two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, which was the the negotiations that we're looking into right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then there's a search and rescue operation. Okay. Uh, we have also been tasked with locating the guard. That is not official head office thing, though it is, uh, it is subject to billable hours. Okay, that's the and one you picked up in L Builder, right? And, and that's now, not the missing and, persons one, huh? That's not the missing persons one. No, there oh. is a search and rescue contract from head office. Mm -hmm. There is a, there is the one we're working on, and then there is the missing um, guards the that we're working with L Builder and um, the C joint on. And now, a top secret contract. Yep. So we have okay. three ish. Three official. Two contracts, one request, I would put it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So from home office, there's like three, like, and then there's a whole bunch of oh, happening over here. Okay. I, to be honest, I'm kind of feeling like maybe we should do the home office stuff. Just, that's me. Because it's going to get us paid, and apparently that's what I'm doing now. Well, well, and we're, and we work for them. So. Yeah, well, we that are too. Literally in the middle of doing that. I know. I'm just saying that, like, of all these side things that have stacked up, these three are kind of where Hugon's putting his attention. But th that's not here nor there. I just wanted to clarify the number specifically. Okay. So, uh, you have a restful night, no, no more uh, strange shared dreams, visions, Form G situations. These um, are Form H. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what's happening now <laughs> is Form Z. Oh. Form O, you don't ever... Four or G. <laughs> Did I need to report that? <laughs> like, cause... Well, it depends. No. Where you you I'm just asking. Expense any of it? That's the thing. Is oh, <laughs> right, right, right. Because if you're going to expense any of it, then you have to have the forms to back it up. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. I don't mm. want a paper trail. Not for that. We call yeah, it the yeah. we call it the uh, the Caligula um, operation. <laughs> um, I don't like who. <laughs> uh, it's folks. It's not that kind of stream. Yeah, for real. Yet. Uh, <laughs> today, uh, today, <laughs> today. <laughs> um, so, but you are uh, awakened uh, now. Uh, granted, uh, Corbin, I know you wake up probably at the ass crack of dawn crack to do your morning meditations. Um, 
what time do you guys usually wake up just on a normal basis? Not what we were like, what would happen on this particular day, but so Corbin, he's up at the crack of dawn every day to do his morning Ooh. meditations and, and intentions and all that. I mean, Hugon's the same way. I mean, he's a military man. Mm -hmm. uh, you are up when the sun is up. Okay. You're allowed to sleep when the sun is down. Okay. Thunuka's used to sleeping outside. So his alarm clock is sunlight. If he's sleeping indoors, he's not getting as much sunlight. So his he's probably hasn't adapted to that yet. He so might he have slept in a little bit. Sleep in. And yeah. then Dren. I have Razzie as my alarm clock, so. Okay. And what time does Razzie usually get you up? Normally, it may be at like 7 or 8, but if this was an important thing, probably okay. closer to 5 or 6. Okay. So you might still be sleeping. Thonic, you might still be sleeping. The other two, you guys are awake doing your normal morning routine. And you hear outside um, joyous shouts. It's too early for joy. What the shit's going on? Um, maybe not. It's I not, don't it's like sunrise. happiness. It's not, it's not sunrise. This is more like at like <laughs> seven in the morning. Because generally, in this kind of society, people are generally getting up not too far after sunrise. You know, most people are right. like that, unless they've worked like an overnight shift in the, in the mine or something like that. Um, but you can hear um, joyous like whoops and hollers, and you can hear people running past uh, running past the uh, the tavern. Um, you hear like more like shouts coming up from towards the mine as, um, as, uh, as yeah, you, you seem to be hearing, um, some celebration. Um, I am probably out the back doing practice routine right now. Oh, like your forms? Yeah. Okay. Um, like Carter and that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So... How far away is the celebration seeming to be happening? Everyone seems to be running towards the um, uh, the center of town, towards uh, uh, the steps. I thought Hang we on. were the center of town. Um, I'm trying to find my map here. I have it floating about somewhere around here. Oh, here we go. have to reacquaint myself with where we are. Okay, so that's what I'm looking at. All right. So, uh, yeah, well, yeah, you guys are right by uh, the square. Am I looking at the right thing? No, I'm not looking at the right thing. Um, yeah, you guys aren't – Hang on. You guys aren't too far away from the from the uh, from the town center, so it's like you're you're like a, a block or two off. Oh, right, I gotta well, dig up that map somewhere. I'll uh, sling my uh, staff over my back and take a jog over there. Okay. Work it into my morning workout, I guess. Like doing high knees, high knees. <laughs> as high as <laughs> dwarf <laughs> knees go. <laughs> <laughs> Dwarven lunges all the way there. <laughs> no, I could just be going for a jog. Uh, or that. Saying. Yeah. Um. Oh man. Well, I suppose he'll uh, Hugon will take whatever equivalent there is to coffee and grab a cup of it and mosey on down just to see what the hell's going on. If there's an actual reason to be joyful or if these people are just being stupid. Um, Thonic and Dren, do you feel like this? you guys would be awake or this would have woken you up? I will roll for awakeness. <laughs> One! Go, no, no, no. One. You, are, you are asleep. No. You are I'm face-planted as on my work possibly. table. There's like a wrench in my cheek. Yeah, you are as asleep as a person could possibly be. <laughs> you didn't even make wow. it to bed. No, I just, <laughs> no. I face planted right on my There's like a puddle of drool. 
<laughs> yeah, there's off. there's drool. I landed on a wrench. It's kind of like embedded in my cheek right now. When you now. wake up, like there's gonna be a wrench shape red mark. There's gonna be a wrench shape right there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> a one. Really? Oh, wow. Yep. Okay. You are borderline comatose. Um, yes. <laughs> what what's the what season is this again? This is uh, we're like mid spring at this. Okay, point. that's what I thought. Windows are open. Uh, Thunuk hears people shouting in general, mm-hmm. and his first reaction is to wake up, go, it's not my fault! <laughs> <laughs> and then he realizes <laughs> people are cool with him, he hasn't broken anything today, and these are yeah. happy sounds. Yet. Yet. And so do you go into the, the, like the town square area as well? Um, yes, so he will put his clothes on and go outside. Okay. Um, so as you, as you get out there, you see people are gathering, um, uh, near the steps of the main, uh, hall. Uh, it's the same hall that houses the, the library, uh, as well, um, that you guys had visited on your, on your, uh, on the previous day. Mm-hmm. Um, and everyone is, uh, let me just do it on my notes again. Jesus Christ, Brian. Sorry. This organization. I know. I just had him in my hand. Where did they go? No, that's Gleeful Murder Face. That's not the right thing. That's the... Douchey McDouchepants. Ah, or, what did we call him? Yeah, douchey... Uh, Bertram the Were-Weasel? Grabby... Grabby, 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 grabby yeah. McCockpants, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, we had so many names. Grabby McPunchface. Um, so... <laughs> uh, and you, you hear uh, people... Uh, you see, like, all the kids are kind of like uh gathering sort of in the front and the adults are 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 back there and everyone's kind of like excited and you hear them mentioning something about the um about the festival of winds um and uh uh uh, uh, someone um who's uh excuse me dressed in kind of like scholarly garb um approaches out of the uh, comes out of the, the library flanked behind him by several others that you know uh, that are also dressed you know as scholars and um you know the, so the one in front is this is an is an older man big white beard coming down to his waist that he's got kind of like tied off you know to kind of keep it from getting you know all over the place but he apparently didn't do the same with his own hair because his own hair keeps on blowing in his face and he's constantly like absent-mindedly they pushing it out of out of the way and they they, they come out um and everyone uses murmur over the crowd um it's kind of like when um if you're at a concert and like the roadies start to come out and people start to get excited for the roadies because it's like oh stimulus stimulus <laughs> um and so so he, he you know they're all kind of you know murmuring goes through the crowd and he raises his hands and the crowd gets becomes quiet and he says uh, he says, sons and daughters of Pinedale. He says, uh, we've looked at the signs and after careful study and after careful deliberation, we have determined that today On this we day, are Independence Day. <laughs> on our Independence Day, oh, no, on, on, the, on, okay. that, on that we oh, have determined boy. that we are going to have an early summer this year, and with that, there's like a, a, a kind of like a, a an excited like uh, a, like a smattering applause to the crowd. People are kind of waiting for you can tell there, there's like this tension building, and he says, "So today, I am proud to say." will mark the beginning of this year's Festival of Winds. And with that, the crowd just erupts in like this joyous applause and cheering and, you know, like all very, very excited. I that, 10. Um, Do I wake up? Uh, yeah, you hear something. <laughs> okay. And kind of like... I, I look down at the ground. Can I see my own shadow? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is this, ground, is this fact, guy a groundhog? Your own shadow. Um... <laughs> So yeah, and and so uh, you know, it, so they so they they go so go on prepare you know and and, and like everyone starts immediately starts like getting away like starts dispersing um, uh, to to get away 
uh, to go start preparing for this this festival of winds that they all seem to be hmm. very very excited for. Um, Dren, you know what the festival of winds is, but you're not there, so this doesn't help us. Um, <laughs> no. fart a lot. I just woke oh, up. God. Yeah, you gonna spent like the, the, this whole like event like scowling over the rim of his coffee cup, like sipping it and being like. <laughs> What is this bullshit? I was I was really <laughs> expecting when Brian was describing people was like, oh, stimulus, stimulus. He's going to be like, oh, I'll stimulate you with a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> and like children are like grabbing at him and be like, yeah. And I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> Get away from me. Like, you're not one of mine, are you? No, <laughs> then leave. <laughs> Wait, is you going to have that fear, by the way? What, of children? No, having like marched across various countrysides, like. Are there Think of all of the things? facilities his, he's visited. I mean, that's a fair... I mean, like, I imagine so. I imagine he does have a he few... He does have an impressive second wind. <laughs> <laughs> he does have an impressive second wind. That was canonical. It, uh, it is. It is officially canonical. With Which inspiration from the bard, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I grab him on the back. Inspiration. Add that D6. Um, I... If if I if I wake up to that, I probably put two and two together, realize what's going on, and then I just I want to go downstairs to grab some food. Because you're gonna need it. Okay, I order a lot of food, which for <laughs> me is probably like an actual normal person size platter. Yeah, normal. <laughs> half of a human portion. <laughs> yeah, half of a human portion. Or whatever. Um. So yeah, so uh, you you kind of are able to pick it up that today is going to be the start of the Festival of Winds, and you know that this is oh a um, a celebration. It's almost like the uh, the halfway point of spring, okay. Um, and it's it's basically a, a, a two day long celebration where the town shuts down, um, and and uh, it's just it's it's. Uh, uh, celebrated with wine and drink and song. Uh, there's a cook-off competition, um, so you know that there's there's a lot there's a lot that's going to be going on over the next uh, two days uh, to partake in. <laughs> Bruce Willis is displeased. <laughs> Bruce Willis is thinking that two days of no one working is going to make it incredibly hard for our diplomats to negotiate. Uh, yeah, it would be. But this is one of those things that um, if you were to ask around about that, um, it's not um, an unknown holiday like within this region. And it's one of those things. It's kind of, So it's kind of like... Um, it starts Japan. at random. It's really inconvenient. It can be for some people. <laughs> When they're visiting, um, but the uh, so it's it's almost like the uh, the Japanese uh, cherry blossom festival. Like it's sort of like the day that they bloom. It's like oh wait, school's canceled. You know, oh, we're done. We're done. Yeah, Trust yeah. It sounds like DC, Icelandic perfect summer day. Festival. I'm sorry. Say what? Say I'm from DC. I know what a cherry blossom festival is. Well, for yeah. those listening at home that okay. may not know, or okay. it, it's this sounds like what happened when I was like, when I was growing up. It's like perfect summer day. Mm-hmm country shuts down yeah nice. it's like in england when the sun comes out <laughs> i know <laughs> i know dude we don't even get a day off for the royal wedding so fuck it uh. <laughs> and they think all we right cared. <laughs> 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 yeah <laughs> Do that again. no i won't it's like uh, I'll save that for table talk. Because <laughs> okay. I think you have some thoughts and opinions. I have some things to say. I know. <laughs> <laughs> about Harry Fine. and Meghan. It's not about Enough. them specifically. <laughs> okay. But... Table talk. Right, table talk. Yeah, yes. we will put that on the list for table talk. <laughs> Bob's Hi. rant about the royal wedding. <laughs> um, so, Where yeah. was everyone again? Because I'm eating you're in, breakfast you're eating downstairs. Breakfast. I'm probably coming back from my jog, which means that you are probably seeing me without my long coat and stuff on for the first time. You gun is, or? Not all of you. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah. So, like, you're seeing heavily scarred arms that are covered in, like, tribal tattoos. Um, 
There's a body under there. There's a body under here. <laughs> a very, very... Like, it's a typical dwarven body. It's made of muscle. It's four foot tall and it's four foot wide. Like... Yeah, you're a square. It's a, it's a cube but it's of... Cut. A cube of... Uh, a cube of cut meat. <laughs> but, like, the, it's quite clear it's seen some, some fighting and... Some use. You've well, used it well. Yeah. Not the uh, or the not well. Or not well. Yeah, there's mileage. The case. <laughs> um, and all of the scars seem to be covered up by... Trying to be covered up by some form of tribal tattoo. Um, which, uh, when he notices you're all there, he quickly hurries upstairs to get changed. Get clean and changed. You probably would have run into Thunuk on the way back in. Yeah, probably. Just, yeah. That's what I'm saying, is once he sees that people are actually observing him without the coat and stuff on, he... Yeah. Oh, he's like, oh! You got just much of the same. <laughs> that would have been like the first tinge of modesty or whatever the equivalent would be that we've seen. Hugon is a much, much of the same kind of person. He doesn't really go around like shirtless or like arms bare for very much the same reason. But I mean, well, his Dren's probably dressed in whatever it was last night with the wrench in her. There's, like a, there's a red, gigantic <laughs> red mark in the shape of a wrench, like impressed into her face here. <laughs> like her hair on that side is kind of flat. Like it's yeah. it's bedhead. It's like, like full on yeah. bedhead. <laughs> yep. Wrench head. Wrench head. So, no, just bedhead. Like, wrench face. Up. So in the no, square I can't stick itself, because I got long hair, but it's it's just. You've also got a lot of probably like motor oil and stuff like yeah, that. Grease. In, yeah, so it's like stuff um, in it. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, I hate everything. Um, <laughs> So the city is essentially shutting down, in the like from the square outward. It's like rippling out. Like, yeah, yeah. Hey, we, we're not doing anything for two days. You Rejoice! Hear the city going. Boo, 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 boo. People are starting to set up like these uh, canopies out in the square. Um, you know where they're going to be, where they're you know they're dragging benches over. You know they're still going to like sell produce. It's so think of it like a giant like carnival, yeah. like almost like a state fair. It's a situation. state fair, yeah, yeah. Where you yeah. go and you eat too much and you drink too much. I'm gonna much. make sure that our favorite food cart gets a good spot. Yes. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. We need to visit our favorite food cart, and I need fried everything. <laughs> Shondo <laughs> with crab legs. <laughs> fried no. Crab legs. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> Don't fry crab no. legs. Hmm? Don't fry crab legs. No, I didn't say you fry them. I said Shondo with crab right. legs. No, I say fry everything. No. You don't fry <laughs> crab. You just, that, just, that was the thing yeah. we're, we're we're calling spider legs for the for the trolls. Yeah, you are calling it that, and I say <laughs> it's heresy, and we shan't participate. <laughs> Burn the Xenos filth, <laughs> right? Yes, you racist human. <laughs> I don't want to eat spiders. <laughs> I'm not joining the spider eating contest. No, that comes later. Okay. No. All right, like I said, I'm heading upstairs to bathe and get changed and come back down. So, however long that takes. Okay. Um. So, it depends what you would like to do with your day. Um. You know that there's some things that you guys could participate in, um, either individually or as a group. Um, and it's completely up to you as to how you decide to spend your day. The. Uh but the meeting is happening. No, the yeah, meeting is gonna, like the afternoon. That's going to be more than likely. That's going to be delayed. There might be like some um, perfunctory, like, uh, like, hey, we didn't know this festival was going to happen. Hey, yeah, sorry. But there might also be like some, hey, official, hey, we'll do the official greetings and we'll talk to people. And they're going to, all these folks are going to be in town, so there will be some opportunity to interact with them ahead of time. Um, they're so gonna do be it more as a, okay. Um, well, I mean. <laughs> If, if 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 things are shutting down for two days, mm -hmm. I think one of us needs to. I mean, Hugon's already out and about; he can do it. Go to them and say, "What is your intent for the next two days? Are you trying to meet for the next two days? If so, tell us when we need to be there." Okay, so you're probably gonna go talk to the centaurs because they're the ones that are Cloifen yeah. and Dryifen. Yeah. Um, 
So you go find them, and they they were actually out in the crowd as well. They they came out with everyone else. Well, at least they're not hard to find. So no, they <laughs> yeah, centers are kind of easy to spot. Yeah, and and as we have learned um, from one Kate Welch, centaurs are always hot, or no, that was that Amy, <laughs> one of them. Uh, probably um, both. Probably both. both. <laughs> no, it was probably both. Um, and also uh, probably Jerry Holkins. <laughs> probably. <laughs> um, uh, Cloofin, uh tells you that uh, w- while the exact date of the festival was unknown, they had, they had made uh, the parties aware that they were getting towards that time of year where it could be like, hey, this is entirely possible that while you're en route that they're going to declare this holiday and it could potentially. So they, he tell, or she tells you that. Um, you know, we've made preparations when they come today. Uh, if you know, um, we do, you know, we're not going to actually, we're not going to start formally engaging in negotiations until the festival is over. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll allow the festival to proceed uninhibited by this. Um, well, it's just a single meeting, like, it's not going to inhibit the festival. What it's, it's aka they want to do the festival and then deal with business. Well, that's fair. <laughs> And that's kind of what she uh, um, communicates to you. It's like, you know, we, we this is something that we want to participate in. We've had to miss it the last several seasons or the last several years. Um, so, um, you know, it would be it would be best also for us to to be able to give it our full attention. So we're going to we'll, we're going to mm-hmm. have to delay the actual negotiations um, prior to or, or to after the, the festival has has completed. Um we'll be able to do some conversations here and there while the festival is happening, but it would just be too, too much trouble to try to run it at the same time. Well then. (laughs) Uh, Thunuk is going to go upstairs and make sure that everything is still in order the way it was last night. And Seeing as how he has had a religious experience, he's going to construct little animal-sized altars to the four upstairs. Oh. <laughs> With little, like, we, he thinks that he has written in, like, in animal script, like, mm-hmm. uh, like alms or something like that next to, next to like, a bin. Mm-hmm. And uh, he, like, a little jar or something and he's put it up there with a with a symbol of the four and, and, and things like that like on and, the stairs or like no up, upstairs where, okay. where where he's got his little bird ho- gotcha. his avian hospital okay so the birds can bring like little pieces of string maybe some yeah. seed an acorn a shiny whatever <laughs> right. like this pile thing is valuable hmm? pile of poop, poop. Pile pile of poop. Of... listen everyone values something ah <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Um, so again, depending on how you would like to spend your day, um, there's some, um, there's uh, some things that you see, or you hear people talking about that are getting set up, um, things that, uh, you know, th- you know, that there is a, uh, a, a wine naming contest where some of the new vintages are brought out for people to try and people get to, uh, submit their idea for a name. For the wine, and, you know that's that's and that that's the name that that wine vintage within that particular vintage would carry. Dren. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know that there is a uh, drinking relay contest with beer. Um, that that uh, tends to get humorous as as time goes on. He... <laughs> Ran away, <laughs> and you know that there is a uh, a cook-off uh, for something known as granite rings. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is that 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 where that uh, for those who are watching who are listening to the podcast, we all just kind of gave each other the the like the the knowing uh, week. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find out later. Um, but yeah, so there's a, there's a granite ring cook-off contest for uh, uh, seeing uh, uh, who can like move the most of these, and it, these are all like amateur contests. So um, 
Is it yeah. a literal granite ring, or are we? No, actually, uh, no, you no, know, granite the... rings are uh, okay. Delicacy. It's the food. Yeah, it's yeah, the food. It's the okay. food. The granite ring. And for the folks that are watching on Twitch, uh, it looks a Maybe granite we ring. Can, uh... Looks like that. We'll post a picture on Twitter. Yeah, yeah we'll, put a picture, we'll, I'll put a we'll picture Twitter on Twitter. Twitter. Because they look fantastic. Yes. It's basically a giant donut made of potato slices and It's gratin. amazing. It's like, why would it's you? It's an Al Groton donut. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds incredible. I want one right now. <laughs> are, there any, uh, are there any fights or uh, quarterstaff contests? or? Oh, yeah. There's, there's certainly going to be like some impromptu games of skill like that where, you know, where the, you know, you can see them erecting like two like pillars uh like little um, needs to hit something. Like plinths where you know it's you try to knock each other off <laughs> to avoid murdering children that was screaming <laughs> pretty much i imagine all of these festival children running around <laughs> you know, um, like, something that very much I'm resembles kidding. the joust from uh, american gladiators you know where they have like the padded you know quarter staff oh yeah wacky i children. would like to go win those <laughs> <laughs> or try to um, there's always some farmer somewhere who kicks ass. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff that people are, are setting up uh, to do, and you know that the uh, you know that the uh, other the two other parties will be uh, arriving uh, sometime. They're scheduled to arrive sometime later in the afternoon. Um, Is so you this have uh, one of those festivals where everyone kind of dresses up in their more vibrancy. Um, some will, uh, that, that's more, that, that's more of like right at winter's break, you know, as, as sort okay. of like a change of things, you know, as a break from the dreariness, this is more just like, you know, it, because it's so impromptu, it's more like, Hey, let's, it's like impromptu street festival. I just wanted to change into my outfit that my wow character is to make you, Bruce Willis uncomfortable. You know <laughs> this is, this is Dungeons and Dragons. You can go ahead and do that. There is nothing that says that you are not allowed to dress yourself up like your WoW character. <laughs> yeah, there is the rules of decency. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least I finally got something upgraded. So it's no, not you've had that in your bag for like three weeks. No, I don't have anything to cover up my ditties. <laughs> I was about to start calling you Boobies McLovin stuff the third. <laughs> Pretty what? much. What did oh, I my, my WoW character. So, uh, for more on this, Table you can talk. tune into Table Wow Wednesdays at yeah. uh, noon <laughs> Eastern. Yeah, plug within a plug page. within a plug. <laughs> plug plug. plug. Uh, yeah, I'll probably go upstairs and realize that I, I might not be in the greatest visual state, and like get cleaned up and change. <laughs> Which is really only a matter of degrees for 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 Dren. It's not like yeah. It's like you just make the other side of your hair match. The bedhead side of your yes. hair. So there's more yeah. symmetry. Try to run a comb yeah. through it. The comb gets stuck. Give up. It gets broken. <laughs> just leave it there. Snap. Oh, well. <laughs> that can be a weapon later. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, like, you now you have blueprints for a super comb. A steam-powered mm -hmm. comb. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. The Arcana comb. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Instantly fix your hair because you're too lazy to do it yourself. Like the comb of passing. I know a couple of characters who might like such a thing. Yep. 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 Imagine what I could do with a beard comb. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. 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 It just instantly braids as you brush it. No. <laughs> mm -mm. Now you see, he's thinking, wait, this could save me a whole five minutes this in the morning. Me so much time. <laughs> But yeah, I think uh, I think Qgun's going to be attracted to like games of skill and like ways that he can uh, deal with the annoying exuberance of everyone around him. Oh yeah, they're going to have like uh, archery contests, axe throwing contests. Okay, all of these things. Sack like throwing contests. You know how far sure. can you throw the sack of the sack of grain? Children. Yes, sack of children. Krampus, sack of sack of Krampus style. For, for all the children that passed away during the winter, they pack them into a sack and you see how far you can throw them. Ah, <laughs> oh, Eve! <laughs> On to the next life. <laughs> away with you, you stink. <laughs> into the river. Um... <laughs> I am very curious as to what Corbin is interested in. Well, he never gets cold food, so it could be warm food. <laughs> I think, other than getting some food, I 
think Corbin might just go to work. Go try and find the uh, the no, people since they're like, going to be out and about and socialize. Like until we know that Zephram's here, he might just lock himself in the office. Mm. Goes to the grindstone. Fair try enough. and lock it all out because it's not really him. Like that, where he skulks around on rooftops like Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Which could be fun. God, find and kill that pigeon guy. <laughs> Keep an eye out for. He, no, he totally perch and wait for the good food truck to come. No, I think he's gonna kind of. He's gonna kind of lock himself in the office for a while. Just. He's also. How do I put this delicately? He's a bard during a festival. Uh, yeah. Mm. But it doesn't he's sing really or play instruments. He's not in the mood to play nicey nice. I don't understand. Is he I a non people person bard? No, but usually he's very much a people person. Mm -hmm. Just all the bullshit that's happened over the last couple of days. It's filled oh, the him grumbly. <laughs> yeah. Corbin needs to defrag for a minute. No, that's totally fine. <laughs> yeah. That's absolutely, that makes perfect sense. He has exhausted his social fuel. Organized no, it's not, young. It's not even the social fuel. It's the bullshitometer <laughs> has reached maximum. <laughs> we super, need to get some order into all this. Like, the, the, the supernatural talking wind on the eve of the <laughs> four wind festival uh magic just hidden bullshit mess just fuck it and it always happens to him it's always him just fuck it yeah usually he's very much a people person mm -hmm. but right today no thank you mm -hmm. need to just be like Quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Put in the earplugs. And... But yeah, that's. I think was unless he's getting dragged out by no. certain other trouble causing members of the group, <laughs> he's going to try and lock himself away. I think that's totally reasonable. I think I'm gonna go fire a fireworks stand. I think that um... does 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 does, <laughs> does Drenmai say this out loud? Probably. Probably. I don't know if anyone's around, but <laughs> Inspiration. Inspiration. <laughs> Explosion. Explosion. Ignition. Rezzy can Rezzy has fire. We could go cause chaos. <laughs> I enjoy getting the kids riled up probably during the, the winds festival, so <laughs> You probably make your own fireworks. You, yeah, you, you're probably like the, the the little insane Gandalf. I was gonna say you're you're the little insane Gandalf. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I can I can do like magic missiles and color spray and all that, but yeah, I magical. still so... and like like you you, <laughs> you tag some dude in the face like oh no oh <laughs> and there's like there's always like a 100 meter like charm no, person. No I'm sorry. Zone. Like Be do happy. not enter. This is where the performance is happening. Enter at your own risk. Thunic yeah, is going to be says... totally interested in that cooking contest, by the way. Okay. I'm probably off in like an adjacent field with fireworks and magic missile and color sprays. Oh, <laughs> <Starting to get laughs> things with the color spray, I just envisioned it like proofs of chalk, so all the co the kids are like covered in random colors. <laughs> like, un unconscious <laughs> on the ground because that's how color spray works. <laughs> you know, color spray is designed to debilitate people. Like, oh, it's like getting hit with a magical know. stun gun. No, it's, it's like, like you, you magically it. induce epilepsy in people. <laughs> she's, I just she's thought like it was little, colors. And the kids are like, this is the on best it. high I've ever had. <laughs> she's putting a little English on it. So it's kind of like when you're smacking a kid in the face with a pillow and you knock him down. They think it's the greatest thing in the world. Except it's like exactly. A big, you got to whip it. It's like a big poof of like, you know, just red chalk. Just <laughs> Exactly. And the kids are all like, Auntie Dren, Auntie Dren. Yay! And like there's one one of them like failed his save and is seizing on the ground. <laughs> well normal. listen. Sometimes it happens. Oh, that happens. It's cool. It fine. happens. We're fine. we're fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> uh.
<laughs> so Thunic is interested in checking out this cook-off contest, and um, Hugon, you're interested in doing some of the um, uh, feats of feats of strength, things like that. Okay. I mean, skill games, whatever. Things okay. that are actually going to involve physical activity rather than eating and drinking. Okay. He's going to do that too, but this is the most important. Ah, ah, ah. Mm. Ah? Mm, that ah. thing I prepared, Brian. No, no, no. I Oh, I've got this. No, 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 no. As in, I'm trying to get it to load. Oh, well, we... <laughs> we'll, we'll do that last. Okay. Like, so confused. If you can't do it when it comes the time, just blink twice. And okay. We'll... No. <laughs> do the really awkward wink. No, I was just... I, I was having a problem with my Google Drive. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Hugon, you you find that they are um, they've set up, like I said, like these two. Um, I don't know if plinth is the right word. Like these two, like kind of columns. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, and it's and there's like, like a pool of stale beer or some stupid shit underneath. Yeah, I'm picturing like that that movie First Night where they're all like have those fighting type ring ish areas, but it's just out somewhere. You never seen American Gladiators. But yeah. Didn't envision that. <laughs> That's fine. I'm still trying to put it in period imagery. <laughs> I, 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 gladiators. I very gladiators is historically. Got it, I've got it in here. I, I, uh, I know the visual. Totally. <laughs> so um, I, I'm guessing. Does everyone have like, leotards on? <laughs> and I'm guessing you would like to uh, partake. Oh, yeah. In, is there uh, money riding on this? Uh, there's people that are making, yeah, side bets uh, okay. and, and everything. So you can, you know, so, you know, there's been a couple of the local folks, couple, you know, miners and whatnot. So these are some, these are some pretty hardy folks that are, mm. um, that are, that are engaging in this. And occasionally some like, you know, skinny guy will be like, you know, be put up there by his friends and get his ass, get, get, get his <laughs> head knocked off his shoulders, you know, and yeah. And into the, and, you know, they've like sort of like piled up like sawdust and everything. But you know, it's, it's still a hard landing. This is not it, a soft it landing. It still sucks. But... Yeah. And it's only a few feet off the ground. It's like they have it like 10 feet off the ground. We're talking, you know, three, four feet. But, you, you know, you, you, you could take a, a good fall off of that. Um, so are you are you interested in in participating in this? Yeah. Okay. I have. <laughs> this is quarter staffs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Quarter staffs, they have like, um, like a, a a a padding on the end, a pad, yeah, padding yeah. on the end of like it, a, so that a, a blanket or a... yeah, it's like wrapped in like kind of like in the padding that they use for like when they're training. You know, you have like that oh yeah, it still on. hurts, but it's not gonna burlap sack. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That way, it's it'll take some of the oomph out. It's not you're not gonna like necessarily break someone's rib with this. You're, you it's gonna still, suck, but yeah, you can still ring their bell a little bit. It's could still leave, well, it's kind of like getting hit with a bag of oranges. It won't. Oh yeah, I know. Right. Wait a minute. Never mind. Um... <laughs> He's like, yeah, I, I've done that. I mean, no, I've never done that. Um, so you, you talk to the you talk to the guy who's kind of like wrangling everything here, and he's like, all right, uh, you know, you're you're next up, and um, you know, they, they hand you they, they you know they have like a rack of the different quarter staffs there, um, like different lengths. Mm -hmm. different weights it's kind of like you know how bowling balls how they have no them. yeah absolutely yeah. um is there I, I would like to find the perfect quarter staff for hugon like so for what what would that be what would hugon look for in a well, quarter staff? He, pole arm master and quarter staves are pole arms mm -hmm. would it be uh perception or would it be history like to like know about like thickness i uh length and um Girth. weight no weight endurance always about size yes <laughs> did we ever set up the innuendo counter not yet it's gonna be oh shit i'm supposed to do that during break yes <laughs> you were you <laughs> failed on, i'll do it right now we you got totally, another you failed um the phrase it's the phrasing counter right that's yeah, what phrasing counter <laughs> um uh, I think you could go with either of those, either a history, whatever one you feel is okay. I mean, I mean they're all pretty much the same here. So, I have, I cannot even see it. A nineteen. Okay. Um, yeah. So, like, what would, what would Hugon want to like when he's choosing a weapon? When he's choosing 
uh, uh, a weapon of this nature, a staff like weapon? What mm -hmm. what are the attributes? Because some people might want to get like one that's heavier, right? Because they just want to have just the sheer stopping power, right? Right. But there's others who are going to go for something that's maybe not quite as heavy, but lighter and balanced, so that way they could you know get more of a more they could be more mobile with it. Like what what is it? What is, what would Hugon's from his years? In in uh, his years in the military, what would well, he be looking for? Quarter staves are not halberds. They're not weighted heavily on one end for chopping arcs. Mm -hmm. So he's searching for a balance that he can uh, attack with both ends quickly mm -hmm. and sort of not necessarily light in terms of um, like he doesn't want a super light stave, but he wants something that's easier to maneuver than just you know a a huge ass blunt instrument on one end, mm -hmm. knocking people off. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so you, you, you know, Hugon, you go around and you're testing, um, you know, you're, you're, you're testing, uh, uh, I'm just looking at one. Okay. Um, you know, you're testing the different, uh, uh weights mm -hmm. you know, you're kind of holding up and finding the balance and none of these, none of these would really live up to what you would, Oh no, they're all shit. Used. They're all. Yeah, just I mean, shit. I mean, they're they're decent enough. Uh, but you know, <laughs> yeah. the way I mean, these weren't like professionally made. Right. You know, they're weighted with. They're kind of off balance. But you find one that you feel like has a pretty decent balance. You know, you're mm -hmm. able to give it a couple like a couple, you know, a couple swings. You know, just to see, mm -hmm. okay, how does the what's the action feel like? Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, you uh, and so you find one, and they okay, and and so you're waiting in line, and you know the guy, you know, there's people that are fighting, and you know getting knocked off and next one gets knocked off and finally after uh, a couple of rounds it's it's now you're and you can see it the way they're doing this is it's like um winner stays mm, okay so it's you know you stay on as as long you, you can keep on fighting and, and if people are staying on longer like people will start taking bets you know and like oh you know it's kind of like the longer someone's on there you know some of the guys that are the, setting the, the odds the higher, are like, the, uh, you higher know, the pool is getting yeah exactly the pool gets bigger and bigger and you know um, oh, does he win this round or does he lose? Let it ride or do you walk away? And um, so, uh, so it's your turn. So they 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 have you, uh, you know, they they have you. Again, this thing's probably about four feet off the ground. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty sturdy. It's not gonna as you're moving. It's not like it doesn't wobble. It's not gonna move around or anything like that. Right, right. Um, and there's someone on the other side there. Uh, you know, it's it, these are pretty close to each other. Um, that you're able to. Um, you know, reach them, but you're not allowed to step on the other person's pillar. Don't do that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the idea is that you're just trying to, you know, this would all be, you know, um, like subduing damage. You're not actually going oh, to be, for sure. yeah. you know, doing that. Um, so, uh, yeah, so they, 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 they it's just, um, gentleman looks like one of the miners, you know, it's a pretty, a pretty broad chested, mm -hmm. sturdy guy. Um, so I guess in this case, when they, they're going to, they're going to drop the, you know, they're going to like drop the flag and say, go. So I guess what we need to do is have you roll for initiative. Mm -hmm. So let's do that to see who gets the first swing. I have a, let me consult my dex modifier. I have a 12. Yeah. You automatically are going to get the first swing on this. <laughs> you rolled one. Not, not that badly, but it's bad. Pretty bad. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so describe to me how you're going to start off your, uh, your, your deal here. Okay. Well, um, given that this is a, a minor, um, he probably has pretty considerable upper body strength, mm -hmm. uh, good blocking ability, probably not the best agility. This is someone, yeah, used to swinging a pickaxe, you know, over yeah. like a lot of overhead, not a lot of like yeah. anything like artful. So he's going to target the legs. Ah, okay. He's going to he's going to ruin the balance and use that to um, achieve victory, if you will. Okay. Are you going to sweep the leg, Johnny? Shit, yeah, I'm sweeping sweep the, leg. the leg. I like I don't have guilt like Johnny does. Okay. <laughs> like listen, it's a Johnny tactic. suffered from like like I I don't want to win. Hang on, one. He second. was a wimp. Oh god. That's not what I want. I want. Okay, this. Clues. I think you can take a break on that now. <laughs> I'm just getting everything where I want it. It works. Yeah. I was just adding. 
Just add We're up to That's three for this episode. Doing. So we're up to three. Um, okay. If you're still out there in the chat, I apologize if you've been drowned by clues. It's bullshit. <laughs> Please keep posting. <laughs> we're st- and so, um, um, so you're unarmored at this point, right? You're not wearing it. So what would your, I guess your AC would be 10? 10 plus dex. Okay. So okay. like 12. All right. All right. So you get your first, you get first whack here. Okay. So describe me what you're doing here. So you're going after the legs? Yep. Going, um, okay. you know, knees, feet, ankles, shins, mm-hmm. bone, seeking bone, not not like the, the muscular parts, the mm-hmm. joints. So I'm going to roll to attack. Okay. I probably noticed this at some point, so I'll, I'll be meandering over to the crowd that's watching. Okay. I have a 14. Yeah, 14 will hit. Okay, and uh, our quarter staves, are those D8 or D6? D6. Okay. D8 if you're using both hands. I but would. These are, are going to be padded, though, so we'll, we'll have it. Okay, be... so all D6. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have a do 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 six. Wow. Okay. All right. So uh, you and I did hit, right? Mm-hmm. As a bonus action, I would like to make a bludgeoning attack. <laughs> <laughs> We're going straight from this is a festival to murder. This is this is a festival to like. Oh, hmm, I guess I'm fighting now. That six, did it include your strength modifier? It did. It okay. did. That was six total. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and, like, let's just say, not, like, actually punching the dude in the face, but, like, the other end of the quarter staff. Oh, yeah, so you're coming around just and then like, you're whack, just... Whack. Yeah. Because this, you're, you're, this is something that you're used to doing. You've trained. Absolutely. This. And, like, it's it's just second nature. As yeah. soon as that first attack hits, yeah. go into the second move. Okay. It's absolutely reflex. I have a three on this dice as well, meaning another six. So with two quick swipes, bah, bah. boom, boom, and you, he, he, like, so the first one comes in, like, right at his knee, right? He's got that lead leg, mm-hmm. and you hit it, and he just, you could see, because he was weighting it too heavily on the front yeah. leg. And, you, you know, you, you've, in your years of soldiering, you've learned to, uh, when to um, recognize that, right? So he, he come, you know, he comes down, and as he comes down, you basically almost hook him behind the head with with the other end of the of the quarter mm-hmm. staff and his now his weight's going forward so now he like does that thing where he like you know he's on the, his toes his toes and boom he steps off and there's like a cheer from the crowd cuz they're like this is they're like yeah you got like, it you got that it. took 4 seconds like yeah it was, go, it was pat, pat, done yeah it was over and done um so you know, so uh, some money starts to exchange hands on the side there, and and the uh, the guy that's running the event says, "Do ask to you if you do, do you want to stay on?" Oh yeah, I need my exercise. I'm getting okay. kind of old. Okay, so um, they they pull the next guy up, and this again another minor, uh, maybe maybe a little, um, maybe a little brawnier this time, mm. right? Little 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 bit bigger, a little bit more solid. Um, so yeah, so uh, we're gonna have to we're gonna again they're gonna drop it. We're gonna roll for initiative again mm-hmm. to see who goes first. I missed my dice tray by several inches. Oops. <laughs> you fool! Excuse me. Uh, I have a nine this time. Okay, so this time he actually gets to swing first on you. Good stuff. All right. So again, you guys are, are getting ready to go. They drop the flag there. He rolls and Did you roll a twenty there, buddy. Or twenty. Twenty. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Bring it. All right, so. <laughs> so if I double that. He's super confident, <laughs> and it's just like a pink. So he does he, he does about two, uh, two damage. Yeah. And he takes it right on the ribs and just kind of is like, mm, okay. Yeah, it was kind of like you're almost like it's almost like in um. I wanted it to happen. When Van Dam's holding up his arm, letting the guy kick him in the ribs. Yeah, just like <laughs> ah, yeah, that feels Whatever. good. <laughs> so all right, somebody uh, came to play. So now, what is what is what is your plan now? Well, uh, he's a little faster than the other guy. A little bit. 
going for the hands this time. He seems to be more deft with his hands. I'm seeing like Robin Hood, Prince of, or not Prince of Thieves, Robin Hood, Men in Tights. When they're. I'm on the east That's bank. Not. I'm on the I'm west, on the west bank. bank. This is not a large river, Robin. <laughs> We're men, menly men. Men in tights. Yes. That's a great film. Amazing. Fix your it boobs, blinking. I love that. Uh, come down from there, twit. <laughs> I have to rewatch it. I haven't seen it in I'm years. I'm guessing that no one is coming. <laughs> Are you saying A Blinken or Hey Blinken? Hi. <laughs> right. So, Anywho. going for the hands and elbows. Mm hmm. Okay. I have a 17. That will hit. Delicious. I have an eight damage. Wow. So you went for the hands this time. Yep. I, hands and elbows. I want to de deny him his, his weapon. To basically knock it, knock him so hard in his arms and hands that he just loses it. And then also yeah. he use that you one. In the ribs and you're like, no. And then my no. 1d4 bludgeoning attack. <laughs> so, so when he first gets hit. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I have a 13. Yep, that will that will hit okay. as well. And seven. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so, so like he hit me and I hit him like <laughs> twice, three times as hard. <laughs> yeah. So again, he this time he gets the first hit and there's like a uh, the crowd gets into it because like oh yeah you know that he got the first hit and he immediately turn this around and whack whack you know and, and again and this time he like stumbles over backwards and yeah you know, and hands like, chest yep. And uh, you take him out again, and this time, you know, there's again cheering from some of the people. Now, these are the folks that are, you know, um, you know, excited for you and everything. Um, so, uh, and like, I make a pointed glance at the guys running the betting. Yeah, I'm like, hey, how you doing um, there? I'm gonna make you some <laughs> motherfucking money, and you're gonna give me a cut. <laughs> so he, uh, so they, um, the the guy uh, is running. It looks at you again. He goes, do you want do you want to stay on? Yeah, like I said, I really need my exercise. And uh, so they look around. Next challenger, and some of the guys are kind of like, I don't, I don't know if I want to, I want to get up there. Can I him. try to taunt them into fighting? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, I, this is uh, this is gonna build and build and build, and it's gonna end so badly. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, I have a nineteen on my intimidate check to taunt. So tell me, tell me what, tell me what Hugon says here. To intimidate this crowd. You can't beat a 40 year old broke down soldier. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Thought you young boys were good at something. Oh. <laughs> um, I didn't know Hugon was 40. He's 37. <laughs> he's, okay. he's not old. He's 37. In a row? <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> um. And uh, and so with that, uh, this um, Hulk of a man uh, saunters up out of the crowd. Good. And with the proportions of a dwarf, but but full sized. Right. Like just big barrel chested, big brawny shoulders shaggy beard and you recognize him he actually is kind of been like a fixture on the corner at the one of the corner stools of the bar at, mm -hmm. uh, where you guys are staying and um he uh he, he walks up like really really relaxed though just grabs one of the uh grabs one of the uh um quarter staffs somebody and, who looks like he actually knows how to fight yeah and hoists and hoists himself up uh onto the uh hoists himself up onto the uh onto the pillar and like you know sort of like taps either side of it you know like the goalies like in hockey yep. like they'll tap either and side of the cage you will give him a, like a respectful salute yeah yeah and so uh and everyone and there's like a hush like like an anticipate an anticipatory hush falls over the crowd they're like "Ooh, this is gonna be good yeah this is gonna be the highlight of the festival probably yeah this is a, a, yeah so this is um uh Right. Uh, so, so uh, I, I guess again, we got we got to roll for initiative again here. Okay. And um, 
Okay. I have a 18 on initiative. Okay. Um, I'm rolling quite well tonight. This is yeah. nice. Uh, unfortunately, not well enough to go first. Oh! oh, oh. So, um, so he he's you know takes a second. He kind of measures you up. Mm-hmm. And he uh, he takes a swing at you here. Okay. Did you roll another 20 there, Brian? I did not. Okay. Um, <laughs> he rolled a t- we got a 10 here. Total? Yep. Okay. So, and you're, you're, is that, that's not that's, good enough to hit. Uh, I mean, my dex is 12 or uh, 14, so plus two. Yes, yeah, so you'd be a 12 AC. So, no. Mm-hmm. So, so he takes, um, not like full swing. He could say he's not like he's gauging. This is yeah, a gauging. Gauge. Takes almost like a like a like a, a test swing. Mm-hmm. Um, and you dodge it, but you think it might maybe it was because he wanted to see what exactly how you were going to react to that. Okay. Was so, I going to take the blow, or was I going to deflect the blow, or was I going to yeah, exactly? Okay. Exactly. All right. Well, I will attack him back. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I have a 21. That would hit. That would certainly hit. Okay. And my D6. Okay. I have nine points of damage. Jesus. That was max. <laughs> it was a six okay. on the die. And then I'm going to do my bludgeoning attack. All right. <laughs> I miss. <laughs> I rolled <laughs> I rolled an eight. <laughs> so what were you what was your thought for the attack here? Uh disrupt his center of gravity Mm -hmm. um, by making him move. It's a very small thing that we're standing on, and he's quite Mm -hmm. large. Right in the solar plex. No, not necessarily. Probably going for the hip Mm -hmm. to to, uh, ruin his balance. Okay. So, yeah, you're able to do that. So you're able to take a swing, like, kind of in the hip, and he shifts a little bit, but he's able to shift back as you go for your second blow, mm-hmm. which is why it was sort of he was able to like deflect it away mm-hmm. with with his with his quarter staff. So now he's gonna come, he's gonna come at you, bro. Bring it. Uh twenty-two. That's a hit. Right. So and he does eight on that one. Nice. <laughs> What are you down to? Oh, 15 hit points. Okay. There you go. So he's able to, um, as he deflects, he's able to kind of like flip up the end of the, of the, of the one in the course of and kind of catch you in the jaw a little bit, mm-hmm. you know? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm down to 13 hit points. My 13. mistake. Okay. I took two on from that one blow. Right. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is an, a real fight now, and it uh, yeah, Hugon the crowd's is getting into it now. Yeah, Hugon yeah. is excited. He tastes yeah. blood in his mouth. He's gotten a good hit on the ribs. Mm-hmm. This guy actually friends came, in the crowd getting a little concerned. He came to play, <laughs> and that that yeah, that's so clues. What are so uh, 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 Drenmai? What's what's your reaction to this? Right, right now, I, I'm mm-hmm. just watching and gauging, mm-hmm. and uh, we'll see. <laughs> did did Drenmai not put money on this on this fight? No, no, oh. I, I, I don't bet. <laughs> I like my shinies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Thunic, I, I, were, what, Thunic what, were you, what were you doing during the course of this? Uh, he's looking for that cooking uh, contest. Oh, ah, okay. Nice. All right, we'll circle back around to that. Um, so, uh, right, so now it's your turn. Hugon. That probably broke Hugon's nose again. No, nah, it was more in the chin. It was more okay. of a... You know, one of those. So his jaw is probably dislocated. No, no. I mean, it's all padded. It, it, <laughs> oh, it, that's true. I, I saw stars. You know. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, my my turn. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have an eighteen. That will hit. Delightful. I have a four damage. Okay. And bludgeoning attack. Mm-hmm. I have a fifteen to hit this. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh. One moment. Apologies. 17. My mistake. Yep, that'll hit. And bludgeoning attack. I have seven points of damage. Oh, okay. Max. So what was your what was your methodology this time? Uh, after getting hit, it's on. Like that mm-hmm. it's it's go time. So he's going for a um, hit the the rib cage and then swing it around 
to the head. Mm -hmm. And you connect with both of those. You're able to like get one in the ribs and one like kind of on the shoulder head area. And um, you could see you're hitting him. He's pretty stoic with being bludgeoned mm -hmm. though. Um, so now he's going to return the favor or at least Good. attempt to. I'm excited. Like, that's 11 points of damage and then more on top of that. That's good. 17. Mm -hmm. Hit 17 to hit. Okay. So now he does he hit you for nine. Gotcha. Whew. That, that does not he's feel good. He's a big good, boy. Yeah. Right. So, so you're able to do that, but he's able to, as you're making that hit on his head. He comes at me. Of, yeah. That, that leaves you uh, open and he comes swinging around and, and like, Almost, almost knocks me straight off the yeah uh, the post right, right right on the right on the right on the top of the head. Gotcha. Right. It's uh, it's roll. Okay. Concern. <laughs> I have a fifteen to hit. Uh, that'll hit. Yep. I have an eight to damage. Wow. And second attack. I have a nine. Okay. Is that not sufficient? Nine does not hit, no. Okay, so, no. so that's nine points of damage. So, How much damage uh, have you done to this guy now? I have done 11 the last round. I just did eight this round. That's 19 total. And then I believe on the first one, I hit him for seven. Yeah, he's the big beefy boy. He's a yeah. 25. So that... Um, yeah. With that, la and where was that last hit? Like, what was so you guys are kind of almost like trading, like it was like Apollo Rocky, just like trading blows that a face. I, uh, I think Hugon gets a little violent, and I think he destroys this guy's knee. It's a, a Hail Mary. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> like getting hit in the head, he just jabs with the point of it okay. right into the inside yeah. of this guy's knee. Okay. And so, with that, um, you know, his, his knee goes, and then just sort of the weight, you know, he could kind of he can't stop his own bulk from going that direction. And he rolls off mm -hmm. and lands like pretty much flat on his back. Um, uh, yeah. He, he, he lands flat on his back. Um, uh, and, and like lands hard. They can knock mm -hmm. the wind out of him. And there's lots of cheers from some people. There's a, you know, groans yeah. from others is money. And, um, so uh, did you want to go one more round? Your hit pits, <laughs> Would you gone say no? <laughs> well, your hit points don't reset. I do, I do want to say that. They don't reset the end of the yeah. game. Yeah, but again, what you gone say no? <laughs> In the exposition of letting other people play the damn game. Hopefully. Yeah, no, I, I, I think that he's... Uh, I think that he's finished. I think he'll help his, his opponent up, and uh, I think he'll be done. Okay. It was a, I think a good a, a good bout. I think he got exactly what he was looking for. Okay. Um, so, Thunuk, you were looking for uh, – to you were looking to do this cook-off here. Mm -hmm. So um, there's, like, uh, various uh, tents that are set up. And they're uh, running it um, almost as like a team competition. So they're looking for people. Uh, you would need to have uh, uh, one other person. Fit in the tent. <laughs> no, he's on the outside. <laughs> like, he just sort of reaches in. <laughs> Giant just arms coming inside. No, he's, oh. he's at the, the peak. He's point. like in the very he's middle. He right can't move anywhere. Center. Yeah. <laughs> he's right there in the middle. <laughs> um. But it's like these, almost like these open, like like the you know, like the ten foot by ten foot tents you see like at farmers markets. It's like that kind of thing, mm -hmm. where, it's, where it's peaked in the middle, and so you're able to kind of fit in there, kind of hunched over a little bit. Um, but it, it, you can see the way they're setting it up is that you would need to um, have uh, one person to help you uh, uh, do do this competition, so that way you could uh, participate. You can have as few as two. You can have as many as four people help you. Like a, to a team of two or a team of four. It would just be how many, how how quickly you can you can get through the uh, the rounds. Okay. Uh, Thonic's going to go back to the inn and uh, see if see if Bruce Willis is interested in in uh, cooking with him. <laughs> 
<laughs> because see, we were we were the ones who cooked up dinner for everyone. No, that is true. That is so, true. In, yeah. in, in the uh, not in the in the, in the uh, cabin. So as far as he knows, you're the only other person with cooking skills or experience. So he's going to speak with you. All right. So I'm downstairs in the office. Mm-hmm. Like it's dark. There's a candle, and I'm working, and I'm eating out of a box, probably. <laughs> Thunuk, uh, did you lock the door or is it open? No, no, no the door to the office oh. is open. Okay, Thun, uh, he, Thunuk comes in and he's just like, do you want to help me cook? It's going to be fun. <laughs> eh? Am I in the kitchen? <laughs> Not yet. Appreciate the offer. We'll, we'll pass got work to do okay thank you though you should ask Dren she's a great cook okay <laughs> <laughs> again for the people of the podcast uh, all of our like like that was a no don't like the rest of us said no <laughs> <laughs> uh where is she? She was watching the uh, the fights. That, well, well, no, that's in character. I, I'm with you, gone over watching the fights. Okay, but that was that was also in character because. Look for the nearest explosion or large male sweaty body. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought you meant just to find Dren. I didn't realize that you were also referring to Hugon. <laughs> I'm, it's gonna be two for one right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Thunuk uh, looks around in, uh, like where he is right now. He's like, nope, nothing like that here. Goes outside. And uh, go effectively is looking for anyone that is, he qualifies as a large, sweating hum- male body, which is <laughs> him or bigger. Mm-hmm. And he's not seeing anything. So he looks for explosions. And he's like, I'm not you really see seeing anything. That's kind of scorched and very colorful. Yeah, you see some, <laughs> you see some like colorful children running away from the same area. Ah. They walk through like chalk clouds. Um, with your height, you can see that you can you see um, Hugon finish his last fight from a distance, uh, mm-hmm. doing the uh, on the platforms and knocking another large sweaty man down. Uh, then it goes over there, and mm-hmm. while he's up there, up, up on the the plinth, he's like, "Hugon, Hugon, do you see large sweaty men and or explosions? I'm trying to find <laughs> friend Mike." Blink, blink. <laughs> She's like, yeah, like next to him, like at his knee. <laughs> if uh, is she really? Yeah, he like oh, walks. I'm, like, right- I'm probably next to you because you got done with the fight. So I'm I, like point with the staff. She's, she's she's right here. I'm really short, so maybe he can't see me from. Up yeah, he there. ran right up to you. So he's like looking at you, like like you're right here to him. He's like yeah. looking at you. Yeah, so we're he's on like, eye level. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, oh hi, hi! You want to help me cook? I'm gonna make, make, uh, that, granite rings. That the uh, that character. Yeah. Uh, stone circles. <laughs> I can't cook good. with for shit. Drinmai, you want to cook with uh, Thunuk? I I I know. Uh, they're they're granite rings. I, yes, I can help. Well, see, there you go, Thunuk. Yay! We're and the, uh, the 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 large man that you had just jousted. Um, says, well, I can cook. Hey, see, look, there he is. You guys want to help my friends? I know this guy. Is he like a regular to the town? Yeah, his name's Tusk. Okay, Tusk. Yeah. And is his, his legs still dislocated and banged no, up? No, it really wasn't dislocated. It was more like if you have like your knee kind of locked or weighted and someone... Oh, you know, okay. the thing where you're walking down a hallway and you kind of get someone in the back of the knee and just the whole... They fall that, over? Yeah. Yeah. That was more like that. This wasn't like a case where he like broke the guy's. Knee. In my mental image, it was like his leg went like in a completely wrong direction. Oh, if it no. had been a real quarter staff, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, that would have okay. been the result in in a, yeah, in an actual fight. Yeah. Sonic extends his hand. Is like you're in. <laughs> <laughs> and he introduces himself, and he says Tusk. And um, when he shakes your hand, you notice he has actually has a very firm uh, grip. Mm-hmm. Um, which is for a human. Yeah, for a human. Yeah. Is he still lying down? Like uh, he's been knocked down, or is he no, just? No, 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 no. 
Hugon yeah, picked him up. Picked him up. Yeah. Okay. So you can have a team of three, or if Hugon jumps in, you can have a team of four. I think Hugon's going to go drink. I... Go drink. <laughs> and recover. There'll be an opportunity I, to I point out things. That... Yeah, I point out that he might be a little bit bloody, and that, that might not be beneficial for Cookie. Mm -hmm. No, you're fine. I just have this image of him, like, you know how he did with the stone that you try to throw at the <laughs> thing? It's like grabbing a potato up on his, um... Halbert, Halbert. Towards the end, going... <laughs> 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 Turns out he's an excellent prep cook. Oh, I'll throw it up, and, like, uh, a, a batarang, a dwarf orang will come out of nowhere and... <laughs> And I'll just that keep will throwing shit at some there, point. catching it in bowls. <laughs> Aha! So, um, are you going to go with a team of three or a team of four here? Uh, since Hugon is leaving, a team of three. Team of okay. three is fine. I do want to see if they'll give me money, but that can happen off screen. They, um, so, uh, yeah, so the way that the contest works is that they're going to say go, and you have um, basically four rounds to complete mm -hmm. some tasks. And the idea is that who can move the most of the granite rings to the waiting customers. Gotcha. Um, and so there's three roles that need to be played. One is going to be the That's prep person. Interesting. That's going to be the person who uh, chops up all the potatoes, mm -hmm. right, and gets the ingredients ready. You're going to have the cook. That's the person who, do, who does like the quick fry on these things. Mm -hmm. um, note to the real world, this is not actually how you cook these things, but... <laughs> Um, yeah, that'd be like the person who's like frying them up and making sure that everything's done properly. And then the third role would be the server person, the person who is going to actually bring them out and distribute them out to the people in the crowd. Before we start, I'll relay to, um, Hugon that there is, since he wants to go drink, that there is a drinking relay competition if you would like to partake in it. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> So, uh, I, I think I'll want to be the fryy person because I'm going to use Razzy to help me light shit on fire. Or I mean, cook. Okay. Bob, you're muted. Bob, you're I'm muted. Character, I'd be concerned. I said, and I like the fact that you said, and by light shit on fire, I mean, cook. Clinic, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> which role are you going to take? Um... Thunic is going to look at the, the fact that all the other people are progressively smaller than him mm -hmm. and think, I can carry a lot more than these people can. Mm. So that means I can carry more granite rings. Okay, so you're going to do the serve thing. Yes. So that means that that um, Tusk is then going to do the is going to be your prep cook. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's going to be um, we're going to do uh, three rounds. Okay. And so what's going to happen is the prep cook goes, then the cook goes, then the server goes. It's okay. just a straight D20 roll. You need a 12 to be successful. And then you okay. go on and, and do your next, and then the next person's turn. If, uh, however, so you would like to do like the super success, if you decide to go for it, you have to say that you're going to do it ahead of time. Okay. Um, so you're either trying to hit a 12, or if you say you want to get success and confer advantage upon the next person, in the chain, you would have to get a 17. Can the third person then convey advantage on the first person? Yeah, then it would cycle back around. So if you get this, so if you do that, um, and then if you want to add one of your skill bonuses, you just have to make a case for why that skill bonus would apply okay. to, make, to make the modifier. So are you ready? And actually, we'll do this um, just for shits and giggles. Um, uh, uh, Corbin, if you would like to just roll for Tusk. That way. So that way. Because in other worlds, I'm sure that either Bob or, or, or Gideon could pass for a Tusk. In certain <laughs> worlds. Maybe. Yeah. If you said my name is Tusk, someone would be like, someone would be like, okay, all right. <laughs> I'm sure it is. You'd be like, yes, yes, it is. Well done. Yes. 
<laughs> well we, done, indeed. We somehow knew that before you opened your mouth. <laughs> uh, at least in my case. So we will start with the prep cook with Tusk's roll here, and he's going to start trying to get everything chopped up properly. Let's go big or go home. All right. I oh, love boy. It. I love it. Make it happen. Make it hot. That would be a 19. Nice. 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 Tusk is able to, with, with, for as thick as his fingers are, he just goes He's down very, and. Definitely cooking. And like, and like the way you see, like, you know, chefs just go right along the knuckles and just. And just chopped it, and he's able to go through a whole bunch of these um, very, very quickly. And he's quickly able to pass them off um, to you, Dren, to cook. And because he was successful with his roll, that means you have advantage on this roll. So you can either try to just do a normal roll and do your and do your uh, and try to aim for the twelve, or you could try to continue the momentum and try to hit a seventeen. I'm, I'm going to take my advantage. Clear. So if you, uh, I'm, and, I'm gonna try. Okay. And are you using any of your skills to help push along the cooking here? She has a mechanical dragon to set fire to shit. Yeah, that I, is I, true. I, well, it's that's, more than that's what I brought the fire. It's what you do with the food over the fire. Well, well, I imagine that he's that we're gonna like he's gonna be doing his little blast of fire while I'm getting the perfect temperature for the oil and putting okay. putting in the nicely sliced in there and all nice and perfect. Okay. Keeping the perfect temperature. Okay. Second roll. Yes. 18. 18. 18. 18. All right. So, Dren, you're able to get, yeah, Razzie's able to get the, keep the temperature at like the perfect. Good, good fire. Good, good fire there. You get the, you get everything in there and it's golden. It just, it comes out, it's the right amount of crispiness. It's not like where some of it cooked too fast and other parts didn't cook mm -hmm. well enough and didn't splatter everywhere. And so you're able to put them in, cook them, and uh, get them out onto the serving tray here. Um, so that means that, Thunuk, you too have advantage going into this. Okay. And now there's a crowd gathering, you know, because everyone wants to get their, their, their hot granite. <laughs> So it's like granite. It's like uh, the movie Cocktail, but with uh, granite rings. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I think I'm going to keep it rolling, and uh, oh. see what happens. Oh. <laughs> keep it going. I'll roll both these d20s okay. at the same time. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh. Uh oh. Sorry. Oh no. That was a five. And total. What? Yeah. You rolled that poorly. Five was the highest one. Oh. The other one was a two. Oh. Do you have a 12 oh. modifier? <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything you can apply to this? Like, could you <laughs> suck less? <laughs> maybe? Say survival, maybe, because it's passing <laughs> the food along to other people. But that's a He's plus five only. Like, I need to feed these poor starving people. Look how small they are. <laughs> survival. Crank. Up. I don't that even think that would get you up to a seventeen. Though. I don't think your survival is plus twelve. No, that was that would give me a ten total. So, um, as you are trying to serve this throughout the crowd, um, the plate maybe is a little too hot for you. Mm -hmm. And um, or your hips are too wide, and you knock over a table. Yeah, you not maybe you, you accidentally knock someone over as you're trying to like Look, no, no, no. Lean, his as you're like trying to tall. lean down to hand the plate to someone to serve them. Like it all, they all sort of slide off. Them. They what? Wow. <laughs> and butting them. And yeah, and as you so so you do this right. So you 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 go to like hand the plate to someone, but because you're reaching down, the plate's angled and the stuff starts to slide off. And then so right into their lap. And then as soon as you try to go quick pick it up, you come down and you <laughs> kill them. They're instantly slain. And do one d four bludgeoning damage. Oh jeez. Um, so we're back to uh, we're back to uh, Tusk in the order here. All right. So <laughs> I would like to use the fact that in this movie Tusk is being played by Alton Brown. Okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. No, this is amazing. Uh, Love it to confer his plus one billion cooking 
to myself. <laughs> um, how how many fails do we need, or do we get? Uh, one, two, three, four. You, you need to get um. How many successes? How many fails are? You need to this? get uh, five successes. So you've got two. You've got okay, two. So we have two. And you've got how many failures? Consecutive successes? No, no. Oh no. God. Okay. Mm. That's not how the. This this is playing so off as of old saying, rules. Being played by Alton Brown in this movie. <laughs> I'd like to confer uh, at least. Cannot confer advantage and one billion on yourself. No, 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 no. I was going to say I would like to confer at least advantage at cooking, because mm-hmm. um, I believe Alton Brown is proficient at cookery. Yeah. Um. So maybe just a little. I would say maybe add a plus two four or three modifier? plus but four modifier. If you include how long he's been doing it, and yeah, we could do plus four. I'll, I'll right. give you, a, I'll give you a plus four on that because he's intelligent and whatever, good eats. Yes. <laughs> so. Eh? Uh oh. Seventeen. Seventeen okay. nice. plus nice. four would be twenty-one. All right. So. Tusk once more is able to um, get through the potatoes, but this time because he saw the first batch hit the ground, he was actually able to get even more, get through even more of them. Like, oh, damn it. (laughs) Trying to make up for lost time, right? He invented some sort of Omnitasker. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Wait, was that Omnitusker? Omnitusker. (laughs) (laughs) That's even better. No, that's amazing. (laughs) It's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, all right, and so that means that Drennan is now your turn, and you have advantage. Okay, he he's also giving me more than can fit in the standard pan. Mm-hmm. So now we are going to have to do double. Two and, weapon, uh, two weapon cooking. Yeah, two weapon cooking. So, uh, yeah, this will be fun. I'm just going to go. Sh- wait, I have advantage, right? You have advantage, yeah. Okay. Two pans, one no. Two pans, one Razi. Don't, because it already exists. Don't. Don't. No. Oh wait, I have advantage. Yep. This way <laughs> lies the path of madness. Don't tread oh. it. Uh oh. I did the exact same thing as the duck. I rolled a three and then a two. Oh. Oh no. So Rozzy is not capable of doing uh, two pans, one Rozzy. Yeah, two pans, one Rozzy didn't work. Um, the fire no. got out of control. One batch came out, you know, passable. The other one, half of it was burned. The other half was too raw. You know, I try and save the passable ones and put those on the plate for yeah. Thanook. <laughs> so the passable ones are now on the Thanook. Thanook, <laughs> have you learned your lessons? I will only roll one die at a time now. Okay. Yeah. Well, you you don't have any advantage this time. Okay. And so, are you going for your twelve, or are you going to go for the 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 big the big uh, double success? I'm going to try and go for the big double. Okay. Oh no. And are you applying any kind of modifier to this? Yes. <laughs> I would like to attempt to apply survival, cons- considering that the application of food upon people is, in <laughs> essence, the first step of surviving continuing of existence i would like to quote the eight old adage eat food don't die mm. yep eat food don't die folks i just like to take a minute and say this is patrick rothfuss's fault prbs no 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 in my defense i did not ask if there are uh chandeliers thank you so it was mostly candelabra there are no and i'm not trying to use slate of hand uh, i could probably could use slate of hand on this <laughs> I'm not trying to use persuasion on this. <laughs> Anywho, okay, so go ahead and yeah, use your survival check for okay. eating the masses. Eighteen. All nice. right. Yay. Hold on. So this time you're able to get around and 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 serve everyone. You you learn this time you have to bend from the knees. Mm-hmm. Right. I keep my you hands have like to avoid yeah, yeah, avoid the tent. <coughs> Level. Like, make it sure you're not you know. Just... <laughs> so we've got to get one success out of three. One success out of three. And but we also have two Tusk, failures. Tusk has uh, advantage going into this uh-huh. because the Nook did go go big. Yeah. And did not go home. 
All right. Well, Alton Brown to save the day. Do it. I would like Fine. to uh, confer the plus four modifier once again. Okay. Because he's Alton Brown. Yep. <laughs> That's a twenty-two. Yes. Ah, nice. An eighteen roll. Mm, delicious. Oh, delicious. So yeah, so he's able to Tusk is able to keep up the pace and able to continue chopping and dicing and slicing and getting everything done. Um, did you guys just want to see how the contest ended, or do you just want to take the win? Well, we still have to finish out our, our yeah, round, right? Finish out the round. Yeah. All right. So Dren, um, okay. Now, I'm just going to assume that whenever the option is to hit the bigger number and get the advantage, that that's what Bob is going to roll for. So even though he didn't declare, I'm pretty sure he was aiming for. Well, I, was a fair, I was under the impression we only needed one success so i didn't want to go for the big win and screw it up so i wouldn't have gone for the big roll there i'm i'm oh so dren has no advantage no because okay. we don't we didn't need it to get advantage That's true. so it was That's better true. for me yeah to so now at have, this point because that way with advantage i only need to roll an eight or more with the plus yes. four modifier <laughs> playing the odds man mm. so dren uh, since now we're just doing it for shits and giggles, yep. I'm going to use my Arcana modifier <laughs> because he, Tusk is giving Calibrate me so Razzie's much Calibrate fire. I, he's giving me, no, 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 he's giving me so much to prepare. I'm basically finding, like, the biggest pot that I can, and I'm going to use Fireball and Arcana the shit out of this. So wait, no, 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 no. You're, here's what you do, right? You take some of the leftover <laughs> potatoes that burnt last round, and you feed him to Razi. You turn up his internal, okay. There you go. You turn up his internal <laughs> incinerator so that the, bre- the 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 flame he breathes becomes green. God. Okay, green I, I flame. will flame granite ring. I will green. Oh, that is amazing. Flame. I I will feed him the burnt ones because he does. Game he over. does like he likes metal stuff. So I guess carbon charcoal potatoes yeah. will work. And. For is carbon will not help me with metal? The, of course, <laughs> carbon not metal. And, <laughs> and and he oh wait, I already rolled. That was a twenty one where I arcana the shit with Razi out of these potatoes. Okay. Green flame. So now with we have green more grant granite rings. <laughs> Crispy to perfection. There might be a little bit of a green tinge for some reason on him. We'll just call it flavoring. <laughs> Slightly growing glowing green as if radioactive. <laughs> <laughs> and for here, people. All right. Was that a go big or go home thing, or is that just a regular? Well, it, we're just doing it now to finish okay. out the round. Let's just finish it off. Already, already completed. We succeeded. If we're going with the plus survival, seventeen. Nice. <laughs> so, Thonic, you're able to once again satisfactorily serve glowing um, potatoes glowing potatoes <laughs> but the, you're so you're so polite and genteel about it that people mm-hmm. actually thank you for the opportunity to eat these radioactive potatoes yes. <laughs> they're happy about they're happy about this i'm going to secretly save one so i can bring it back to bruce willis okay <laughs> um speaking of which Bruce Willis, Corbin, do you have any preternatural senses or anything tied to your monk background, anything like that? Uh, technically not yet. I get my key abilities at level two monk, so... So you would not detect a disturbance in the force? Well, I mean, I would still... It would depend on what the disturbance was. Wait, weren't we level two? Yes, yes. but he's level... I'm level one monk level Oh, level two five. monk. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It would depend on what the disturbance was. Right. Okay. Like, if it was people... Like, because I'm downstairs, if it was people, like, whispering stuff outside, I could still mm-hmm. hear that. Yeah. The perception check. But it was just like downright ESP, like their literal disturbance in the force. I would be like, cool. <laughs> I detect nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I 
my sense, Nathine. Oh wait, I need to. Hugan, Hugan left, so I need to save enough potatoes for Hugan and for Yes, Sos. you do. Yeah, save, oh, save yeah. some yeah. potatoes there. Um, yes. So as you're, so you wrap this up, and you guys, they, the judges come around and they start doing the counting to see, um, to see uh, uh, who, who won. And they're counting. Going, there's, there's like three other teams participating in this um, um, at the same time as you. And uh, based on your performance, despite the fact that the last set of rings might have been radioactive in some way, there is nothing in the rules that said <laughs> that you had to serve non-radioactive. I mean, like, do they know what radiation is? Is there a well, bunch of no. magic no. They're magical potatoes. Yeah, See, ma magical are potatoes. Really Shut up. delicious. Arcanely, yes. delicious. arcanely delicious. <laughs> Once again, Bob's got it. Uh, there was nothing in the rules that said that they had to be served that way. Mm -hmm. um, and because of that, you guys actually beat the other team out uh, yes. by two granite rings. Yay! Cool. Big arms work. So there's, uh, there's, there's, you know, the, the people oh, are cheering works. and cheering, and you hear. Um, you, you and, and, and uh, I'm, I'm again, it's not like a huge crowd, but it's again a little crowd there. And mm -hmm. as, as you're doing that, um, as everyone's cheering, you hear this. <laughs> it's the old <laughs> pigeon fucker, isn't if, it? If, if, if <laughs> clapping could be sarcastic. Oh no. It would be, that's how this would sound. And the crowd, uh, parts. Uh, some and um, the crowd parts some and there's this uh, uh, gentleman standing there average height um, th regally adorned it's almost like that like with all of the the cape and cloak and everything around him and he's got kind of you know he's got like uh, some light leather armor on but it, it kind of makes his like his shoulders look larger than He's they got really shoulder pads well it's something it's it's it's, it's, it's yeah 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 it's kind of like that yeah where it's they like just like mage you know. pauldrons from fucking wow <laughs> yeah exactly um <laughs> where and it's very ornately um adorned leather armor um and you can see he's kind of like got this retinue behind him and sounds like a tool and he's just he's, he's clapping and he's just kind of got like this um sneer it seems like almost like that's his resting face is like he's got like resting sneer face <laughs> it's um, not resting bitch face it's resting sneer face yeah rest yeah um and he's just like well done xenagog well done indeed I imagine tusk is really confused no he's in the back going that is good eats <laughs> to the judges. <laughs> and that He's over there scarfing some potatoes. Is where we're going to end this week's game. Oh, oh I, man. Damn it. I, I didn't even get to deliver their potatoes. <laughs> Do you want the potatoes? I spent three hours oh, running the thing this shoot. morning. Thank you. I'm sorry. That's my fault. Oh, no. That's right, that you forgot. Fault. He, he didn't do game. the whole winky That's face really thing one way or the other. Oh, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, you did do the winky fair, thing. We're all blinking. So like it's impossible yeah. to tell. No, no, that's why we have the awkward winky face. The over the awkward. Yeah. In any case, let us I initiate. Apologize. No, it is not done. Because before that happens. <laughs> <laughs> Retcon. Yeah, we're gonna rat Let's say I surface to get some dinner. Fair. Yeah, you surface fair, fair. to get some so yeah, 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 it's been a long festival. You surfaced it and this this guy did do this thing and then kind of like kind of sneered off into the crowd um clearly clearly didn't want to engage so a little bit later i'm, I'm amused that sneering off into the crowd is now a thing like it's, it's a <laughs> moving, moving verb not just like a thing that happens with your face um if if bruce willis emerges and i imagine we're all kind of coming back to the to our spot mm -hmm. i'm gonna give hugon and bruce willis the glowing potatoes no no actual like explanation just like hands the little to-go boxes essentially <laughs> here you go <laughs> amazing it, it smells wonderful hmm? got a groom shrooms <laughs> this is edible <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, you're giving it to Grimshroom? I want to see if he thinks it's edible. See, I, oh, yeah. He, he... I, I figured that it'd be perfect for Bruce Willis because he, he's, yeah, he's vegetarian. Yeah, Frug, yes. uh, Frug takes it. And he... Oh, honey, this smells delicious. <laughs> Good. Good enough for me. So um, and as you're, and... A, as you're chowing down, um, a, 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 a human man uh, taps you on the shoulder and he's dressed um, well as a druid uh, you know but he, it's kind of like it, it looks all like very um, homemade natural fiber clothing coarse weave um, sticks and different like items of nature kind of woven into it I feel like we may have found one of our people that are negotiating gang and um oh hmm. and uh he, he uh very a very calm look about him like just like he's like a very kind of like at peace kind of guy right? right deep smile lines in his eyes deep smile lines in his in his cheeks um i immediately distrust him <laughs> too much smiling um but he he just looks like he's got a very easy nature about him and he says, hey, um, you got a sign that says, I don't like happiness. <laughs> happiness bad. <laughs> <laughs> like, sad face. <laughs> Scout. Um, is and is he, Hugh he... the human version of Grumpy Cat? <laughs> it seems like it. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> the well, like, your, character's, like... your character's evolving, and it seems to be going that way. Yeah. Well, he's, to be fair, he has a lot to be annoyed about. So, yeah, maybe. He says, um, are you... Master Bard, the one known as Bruce Willis. <laughs> Wait, is this his go-to name for everyone? I hope so. That's I, amazing. I, I look over my shoulder, guys, and go. That oh, depends on who's asking and why they're asking. And he and uh, he gets a, a, a twinkle in his eye, and he says, "Well, my name is." Tobin, I'm with the Emerald Enclave, but I have heard stories that in your very short time here that you um, have a a gift of word. You don't want to do this, son. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Poacher Slam? Oh, God. Rap Battle. Rap Battle. I am in Does a that... very bad mood. He says... I have to know. All right. <laughs> Since I'm on home ground, challenges first. <laughs> so he um, offers up, and the reason why I'm saying it this way is because I don't actually have any verses to share with this. But you can't offers... spit. You can't spit hot lines. No, I cannot spit hot lines. All right. Um, I have a friend of mine who can, and I'm talking to him about this. So we'll. we'll... <laughs> but the um. But oh, yeah, he offers. I'm going to do it all on my own. Huh? <laughs> Cheater. <laughs> <laughs> Just Google like really bad poem really quick. <laughs> Hang on. I got it. We'll do it. We got it. Hang on. Wait, is this a limerick battle and not a rap battle? No, no, it's it's. Um, a little poem about potatoes. It's uh, it's kind of spoken word. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Let's begin. The difference yeah. being, I've actually written something to perform. So, and I, I am terrible. <laughs> the devil went this. down to Faerun and he was looking for a soda steel. <laughs> Good shout, robots. <laughs> I like it. Uh, so he says uh, oh no all we know crumbles to the ground though we refuse to see that everything frowns like you gone dust in the wind oh god <laughs> Philosophy battle. <laughs> I'm assuming there's a crowd at this point. Yeah, there is. All right. I'm eating a potato thing. Like, I, uh, like 
it is just I want to say one of the side effects of, what is going of on the here. potatoes. Go ahead. Go ahead. It finally dawns on Thunuk what just happened. He's like, oh, it's a philosophy off! <laughs> <laughs> Oh I love God. it. Continue, please. Continue. What were you saying about the potatoes? Oh, I was going to say one of the side effects probably from the potatoes is that the people that eat it slightly turn green just for a little bit. So you see random people in the crowd that are kind of green. God damn you. All right. So <laughs> before I get a chance to put a mouthful of the potatoes in, this dude has challenged me. Mm. So I've put the fork of potatoes yes. down. You didn't even get to eat, so you're grumpy. And I stand up, and the crowd has clearly cottoned on to what's going on at this point. So they're gathering around, and he's he's issued this these bars. And I look at him, and I'm like, I hold out my hand. See, my last name's Ever. The first name is Greatest, but like Driz Dwarden, I ain't nothing to mess with. Look at you stood looking down on me. I don't just mean literally, I mean figuratively. You come over and ask to exchange verses, well, be prepared, because the crowd's going to hear when your butthole purses. I'm going to make this for you easy to understand. I'm like a big old dandelion to take a big breath and blow me. You're from the Chondlewood, the Emerald Enclave. Make your way through life with nature to save. You care about creation? In all of its glory, because the actions of your sect tell a different story. <clears throat> okay, I, I can't do that in his voice anymore. <laughs> you stand idly by while good people go missing in your wood. And you never stop to think that if you could help, you should. We're not talking about scumbags and criminals getting lost in that maze. It's merchants and guards trying to make a wage. People whose families are split by circumstance, held ransom for their lives by some high and mighty piss ants. You look around, you, people dealing with loss and grieving. What are you doing tomorrow? All right, leaving. And that's just here in Pinedale, the place with the pine tree on the flag. Through the wood, you, I am going to drag. To a town called El Boulder, where you and your enclave so wise took it upon yourselves to exercise the most brutal of corrections against people who didn't know better because they didn't know your laws to the letter but you were all so far off the point you couldn't have missed when you all just became more eco-terrorists you took no time to educate and train instead you were busy exercising your animal brain there was no warning no measures allowed then everything came crashing down broken and bowed now the city sits like uneasy seas people unable to feed their families turbulence boiling under the surface ready to explode but you just hide in your wood and won't bear the load the weight of your actions the consequences the outcome but you don't care as long as the pretty the trees look pretty in the autumn People are natural too, and they need to exist in harmony with it, So, you, but they may need some coaching, not an iron fist with rivets. So pull your heads out of your asses and fix this mess, or is it more that you couldn't care less about people and places, and that are alive as any tree, as the verbal lashing you just got from me? Your people are guardians of all things nature. That's your role. Know it. Stop saying you care about people. It's about fucking time you showed it. Now, I know you're probably mad as hell, but I couldn't give a shit. You tried to verbally whoop my ass, but I made sure you kissed it. Now, I'm not talking trash, man. I'm spitting truth. It's time to lay this to rest because I'm not as long-winded as in my youth. That's called a first-round knockout. I'm on the subject. I'm not playing. It's time for you to show with your deeds because it don't matter what you're saying. And then I sit down. And the... Uh... There's just that nothing to – like, that's the best thing ever. This week's game. <laughs> that's that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, that, you have to end on that. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Everyone in the crowd I is just I promise everyone I will try to do a recording of that in Corbin's accent when my throat <laughs> feels better. But uh, – because some of the rhymes don't quite work when I'm not in Scottish. It's uh, all right. So we're going to uh, end the game there. Thank someone you. make it someone make a moment of that <laughs> Thank you clip that for, shit uh, tuning in
Um, we will be back again with an original game in two weeks, as promised. And we'll be back in about five minutes for Table Talk. But we're going to take a break because where do you go from there? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I need to go get a liquid. <laughs> yeah. So, so we'll see you guys minutes. in about five. See you guys. Yeah, just a couple minutes. can be heard and hear a spirit song still from long before now awaken to the power the essence of our soul